സീരീസ് ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റർ വോൾട്ടേജ് റെഗുലേറ്റർ So we will start the discussion with the limitations of a simple Zener regulator. The first case, when load resistance RL is equal to 10 kilo ohms. So here the value of current limiting resistance is equal to 200 ohms. Unregulated DC voltage is equal to 10 volt. And uh, Zener diode used this SZ 4.7 with a breakdown voltage of 4.7 volt. First, uh, remove the Zener diode and check if V2 is greater than 4.7 volt, which is the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode. So, here Zener diode is removed. Uh, By applying KVL, we can write V2 is equal to 9.8 volt. That means V2 is greater than the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode. So, Zener diode is in the breakdown condition. Now, let us consider another case when load resistance RL is equal to 100 ohms. When load resistance RL is equal to 100 ohms, we can see that when we remove the Zener diode, voltage across the load resistance RL is equal to 3.3 volt, which is less than 4.7 volt breakdown voltage of the Zener diode. So this voltage, 3.3 volt, is not sufficient to keep the diode in the breakdown condition. So as V2 is less than the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode, Zener diode is not in the breakdown region. So this is the major limitation of a simple Zener regulator. If the value of load resistance RL falls below a particular value, then the Zener diode will no longer be in the reverse bias condition. So voltage drop across a reverse bias Zener diode is denoted as Vz during breakdown and it is constant. This feature of the Zener diode makes it suitable to use it as a voltage regulator, a simple Zener voltage regulator. The major drawback of a simple Zener voltage regulator is its poor load regulation. If load resistance goes below a certain value, output voltage is no longer constant as Zener diode comes out of breakdown. As we discussed previously in the previous slides, we found that when load resistance RL is equal to 100 ohms in the circuit, the voltage across the Zener diode is less than 4.7 volt is breakdown voltage. So, Zener diode is not in the breakdown condition, so output voltage V0 is not a constant value. To overcome this drawback, in a series transistor voltage regulator, an emitter follower is connected at the output of the simple Zener voltage regulator. As the emitter follower can source large current to load, problem of poor load regulation is eliminated. As the transistor is connected in series to the load resistance RL, this circuit is called as series transistor voltage regulator. So this is the diagram of the simple Zener voltage regulator. So now we are going to modify the circuit by incorporating an emitter follower to the circuit. So this is the emitter follower. Transistor Q is wired as an emitter follower. 
So redrawing the previous circuit, we can draw the same circuit like this also. So here, the unregulated DC voltage, series resistance RS and uh, Zener diode with breakdown voltage VZ forms a simple Zener voltage regulator. And uh, transistor Q along with resistance RL forms an emitter follower. If orientation of the transistor is changed, the above circuit becomes a series transistor voltage regulator. So this is the diagram of a series transistor voltage regulator. VDC is the unregulated DC voltage. IZ is the current flow through the center diode. ISC is the current flow through resistance RS. IB is the base current of the transistor. I0 is the output current. V0 is the output voltage. VB is the voltage between base and emitter of the transistor and VCE is the voltage between collector and emitter of the transistor. Role of each component in the circuit. Zener diode, most important component, this is the regulating element provides reference voltage. Output voltage depends on the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode. Resistor RS is the current limiting resistance for Zener diode. Series transistor Q is the pass transistor which acts as a current amplifier to source high current to the low. It acts as a variable resistor connected between unregulated DC voltage and load resistance RL. Let us analyze the circuit of a series transistor voltage regulator. Apply KVL to the input loop which consists of unregulated DC voltage VDC, series resistor RS and uh, Zener diode with breakdown voltage DZ, we will get VDC is equal to VRS plus VZ. We can write VRS is equal to IS into RS. Apply KCL at the base of the transistor. IS is equal to IZ plus IB. Apply KVL to the loop which consists of VDC, transistor and load resistance. We will get VDC is equal to VCE plus V0 or we can write VCE is equal to VDC minus V0. Now apply KVL to the loop which consists of Zener diode, base emitter junction of the transistor and load resistance RL. We will get VZ is equal to VBE plus V0 or V0 is equal to VZ minus VBE. Now let us consider the working of the circuit. The operation of the circuit can be explained by considering the circuit into two different parts. First is a simple Zener voltage regulator which consists of unregulated DC voltage, series resistance RS and Zener diode which is shown in the red colored block and an emitter follower circuit which consists of transistor and load resistance RL which is 
shown in green color. Apply KVL to the loop which consists of zener diode, base emitter junction of the transistor and uh, load resistance RL. Vz is equal to Vbe plus V0. As long as zener diode is in the breakdown condition, right hand side of the above equation is constant. Vz is equal to VBE plus V0. So, as Vz is a constant term, right hand side is also a constant. Vz is equal to VBE plus V0. So, output voltage V0 is also constant as we can write V0 is equal to Vz minus VBE. So, Vz is a constant term when Zener diode is in the breakdown condition and uh, when the transistor is conducting VBE is equal to 0.7 volt in the case of a silicon transistor. Now let us discuss the operation of the circuit if input voltage varies. Line regulation. Apply KVL to the loop which consists of VDC, RS and Zener diode. VDC is equal to VRS plus VZ. When the Zener diode is in the breakdown region, Vz is a constant value. That means if Vdc decreases, Vrs also falls. And if Vdc increases, Vrs also increases. So when unregulated input voltage increases, that variation in unregulated DC will reflect as an increment in the voltage drop across resistance RS. When unregulated input voltage falls, that variation in unregulated DC voltage will reflect as a decrement in the voltage drop across resistance RS. As voltage drop across the reverse bias the Zener diode which is in the breakdown condition, Vz is a constant term. Case 2, load current varies, load regulation. When we consider any variations in load current, we must assume that the input voltage VDC is constant. When load resistance RL varies, so as to keep the output voltage constant, Output current I0 must vary proportionally. So according to Ohm's law, V0 is equal to I0 into RL. If RL rises, I0 must fall so as to keep V0 constant. Similarly, if RL falls, I0 must increase proportionally so as to keep the output voltage V0 constant. So if value of load resistance RL rises, as the output voltage is constant, output current I0, that is emitter current of transistor, falls. Reduction in emitter current IE means reduced base current IB as emitter current IE is equal to IB divided by 1 plus beta. 
So if we apply KCL at the base of transistor, Is is equal to Iz plus Ib. As Is is equal to Vdc minus Vz divided by Rs is constant as all terms on the right hand side are constant. So Is is equal to VDC minus VZ divided by RS. All terms on the right hand side are constant. So during dot regulation, VDC is assumed as a constant value. Zener diode is in the breakdown condition. So VZ is also fixed. RS is also fixed. IS is constant and given as IS is equal to IZ plus IB. Here there is a correction. So as to keep the LHS constant, when base current IB falls, Zener current IZ must increase. In other words, when load resistance RL increases, Zener diode conducts more so as to reduce IB and IE or I0. Similarly, when load resistance RL decreases, Zener diode conducts less so that base current IB and emitter current IE are increased to keep output voltage P0 constant. Design steps. So the specifications are output voltage, output current and minimum value of unregulated DC voltage. Vz is equal to Vbe plus V0. Select a zener diode with breakdown voltage Vz. Select a transistor with VCE max is equal to 2V0 and maximum collector current is equal to 2I0. Emitter current of the 